college students and professionals with disabilities. Stacy Shaw, Supported Life Institute. I started off my college career at American River College. When I first went to college, um, I didn't know what accommodations were and um, I struggled uh, with my classes. Uh, I passed some and then I failed a lot and I dropped a lot of classes. And it wasn't until a sociology professor noticed that um, when I took her class, I was able to participate in discussions, but I wasn't uh, able to do the exams. When it came to the exams, I either didn't complete them or uh, I just didn't show up on exam days and I didn't hand in papers. The problem was I couldn't read and I had a learning disability um, as well as my autism and my Tourette's and um, I had hidden it uh, because I was ashamed. I had dropped out of high school so when I came to the college I didn't know what to do about it. You know, that sociology professor she had called me up on the phone and um, asked me to meet her and I did and she made an appointment with learning disability specialists and I was tested and received services after that and that's when I found out about accommodations. I received uh, books in an alternative format and uh, testing in a quiet room, scribes for my writing, uh, and then um, assistive technology, which made a big difference for me. I used uh, Dragon Naturally Speaking, which helped me a lot. Um, I used uh, some other software programs. And the programs varied for me, and um, the reasons for that is because my tics for my Tourette's varied. So if my vocal tics were really bad, I couldn't use Dragon. Um, and then if my motor tics were really bad, I couldn't use anything uh, with a keyboard or a mouse. So it was necessary that I knew how to use uh, multiple types of assistive technology. All of that was important, but I th think um, for me to get through college, um, it was a lot of the supports I needed were um, not formal supports. They were more informal. I had two tutors and I signed up for tutors whether I needed help in the subjects or not. So I signed up immediately at the beginning of the semester for all my classes. So I didn't wait until I was failing. Um, that way I knew I was being held accountable. I had to meet with my math tutor every Monday. So I had to know the assignment. Um, and that helped me um, uh, stay on top of my lessons. Also, I established relationships with, uh, informal relationships with um, a lot of my professors. They helped me through. They, um, they gave me the confidence to believe in myself. There are times when I've been knocked down or had to stop, but I always get back up. Sometimes I have to take a break, but I get back up and keep going. College Students and Professionals with Disabilities was funded by a grant from the California State Council on Developmental Disabilities, Sacramento office.